Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Kilo Sim video. Welcome to today's tutorial where we're going to be installing the FS Enhancer mod for the X Plan 11 Plus Simulator. There will be two versions for this mod that will be required for this to work properly. You're going to want FSE 0.5, which will be linked down below, and 0.6.3, the forum post here, which I, I will also link all that down below. You're going to want to you got a bunch of files, reshade injector is optional, we'll deal with reshade later, but you're gonna wanna install, or you're gonna wanna download True Haze, True Lights, True Shade, and True Waves. And you're, once you're done with that, open up two folders in your file explorer thing, and then go to the 0.6.3 link that's on the threshold form post. Download this folder, with that, there we go, okay, then you're going to want to go back in your download scripts, all that. You're going to definitely require Fly with Lua, and I've already extracted True Haze, so what you're going to want to do is go into your um, uh, bitmaps in your X.11 folder, and then you're going to want to jump into your resources, and then bitmaps folder, take sky colors, drag it across. Take world, drag it across. As always, you should always make a backup of your files in case something goes awry. But yeah, that's how you install the true haze. And then you're gonna wanna go into your plugins menu. Again, you're gonna require Fly with Lua, which I will also link in the description. You're gonna, you're gonna get a Fly with Lua scripts folder and you're just gonna drag that uh, whole scripts thing across. And that'll put that in there, but you're not gonna wanna use that script for that one. What you're going to want to do is take uh, 0 0.6.3. Uh, there it is. Okay, what you're going to want to do is take 0 0.6.3. It's got some more bitmaps. And in retrospect, actually what you're going to want to do is carry sky colors from 0 0.6.3 across into that. And same with the world. So I didn't remember how to do this. I only... <laughs> I thought you only wanted the Lewis scripts, but again, like I said, there's updated Lewis scripts. True Shade.Lua does not work. I don't understand why. It's weird, but either way, you're going to want to just drag all that across into the respective folders. So again, if you go into your resources folder, you got a plugins folder. You're going to want to move the plugins folder into their bitmap whole thing, yada bing, yada boom. Yeah, so then you've got 0.6.3, that's for the uh, the True Haze, that's the latest update to uh, the True Haze. Next, what you want to do is, true for True Lights, this one's really simple, you go down here, resources, bitmaps, plugins, whole same thing, again, always make a backup of all the lights, you're going to want to go into the bitmaps world lights and then make a copy of that folder. So. You're in bitmaps, world, lights, you're gonna copy that, throw it onto a, your desk, like a backup folder you have or something. And then in the plugins folder, you're gonna have another Fly With Lua scripts, truelights.lua. And there, now you've got better looking lights, which I love the lights. My favorite time to fly is in the, no is in the dark, but I digress. On to True Shade. Again, True Shade is not working. I don't exi I think the idea behind True Shade is. On. Okay, yeah, True Shade's only a Lewis script. You don't need True Shade. True Shade doesn't work. But if you want to try it, you can. Flow with Lewis, as always, is required. Once you extract the True Waves folder, you're going to Bitmaps World. Overlays, and then you got your wake.png. There it is. So then you like what you would do is you would take your wake.png. As always, you would make a backup of it. I already have it all installed, but anyway. And then water is any.png. You would just drag that into there, but I have a different water installed that I really prefer personally. But, same idea. What you do next, 
once you have all that is you launch your sim. Uh, cancel, give me a second here. Uh, that's the wrong one. That one's got Rishi installed. What you're gonna wanna do is find your X Plane 11 shortcut and your X Plane 11 main directory or your shortcut here. You're gonna launch it and load up your sim, load up a flight, do all that. And it'll look decent, and it'll look pretty good, I think. I, <laughs> it's really important. If it crashes your sim, you've got a serious problem, but... Yeah, so that's how you install the basic one. Next step is gonna be reshade. So then you're wrong to go to reshade.me. Click the download button. You wanna download reshade 5.2.2. Who's X playing? Cause I already have made sure it works is fine. You can do all the browsing and next stuff. I don't, so then what you do is do that Vulcan or OpenGL, whichever one you have, and then you just finish that. So then what you would do is go into you would start your X plane. And actually, what you do at this point once you're done with installing Reshade. Go into your reshade injector folder that you downloaded, extract that. Again, I've already got all this installed. So then you've got these reshade shaders things. You go here and you just drag this reshade shaders across and you would just drag these into your main X Plane 11 directory, but you can always make a subfolder structure for them. I have X Plane 11 through Steam, so I get that little alarm, but yeah, here's where you start X Plane 11 and see how it goes. Now, hey guys, Edward Kilo here, he's speaking right now. Uh, there's that alarm that came up, hopefully you all saw that. What it was, was a tag that I had to add onto the X Plane executable to allow reshade, but what you want to do for that is create a shortcut from your X-Plane executable that's in that executable for X-Plane should be in your root X-Plane directory. What you want to do with that directory, or with that shortcut, go in, is right click it and click properties, go into the target window for the shortcut thing, type dash dash with the space after the quotes after dot exe, and then dash dash allow dash reshade. Wait, and then you're gonna hit apply, okay, and then launch X plane through the um through that shortcut. You may do you can rename it to whatever on you could rename it, I don't know. Reshade for XP, I don't know. But I'm not using reshade right now because it because I didn't love how it looked, but that's how you do it either way. But either way, back to um real time kilo. So hey guys, I'm back, we're in the, uh, the exploit simulator, and this is reshade. I've installed a few extra shaders mods that you can get through the, um, through the installer, but this is reshade with FS Enhancer. If I roll back the time a little bit, it seems a little bright, and then if I switch my preset, I do that. Really good. So yeah, this is how you install the FS Enhancer, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Hope you enjoy. See you later.